DJ News. All right. Why would a guy move into his cubicle? It's a nice cubicle. Let's ask him. Cal Simon, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Good. Why would you move into your cubicle? Well, you got a perfect amount of situations happening at the same time, and it seems like the easiest way to save money. What kind of perfect situation is happening? You have a situation where you're not getting paid enough, exactly, but you also have a lease ending. You also ask your boss for a raise, and it's all happening in the same couple of days. Oh, and right. So uh, what's the, the last the time? The location you... of the office is well, good. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what do you do for a living? Project manager. Oh. Project manager. Right, so this is a project so right here. There you are managing this project. Right. I'm going to turn my place to a fort. <laughs> uh, project manager. <laughs> I'm going to build a fort. Uh, what's the uh, just a rough? You don't have to tell me exactly, but what's a give me an estimate ballpark of what a project manager of your caliber would make? Hundred to hundred and thirty. Okay. Wow. All right. Uh, so your project manager, your lease is up, and uh, you're asking for a raise. And the boss said no. When was the last time you got a raise? I only worked. I worked in this company for about a year, so I didn't even ask for a raise before. Oh. It, there was a natural uh, performance review that comes around every six months to a year that I was looking forward to, but that never ended up coming. Hmm. Uh, but that was what I really the what I was looking for around this time. I was like, uh, my workload has increased. I'm managing. I was managing about fifty percent of the team's workload. It's like an eight person team, and I'm managing most of it. And for me, I was like, okay, well, at this point, I've been with the company for a while. It's time to look at this again. Gotcha. Right. Increased workload, you want some money. Gotcha. Well, you've been with the company for less than a year, right? Yes. So you're, you're kind of coming up on that annual review time, looking for a raise. You're doing way more than you signed up for. Yeah. Your lease is coming up. All this is just the perfect storm. Right. Snowball. And then you decide to do... Like why would I, why would I, why would I sign a lease for an apartment when I could just move into my cubicle? The commute so quick. <laughs> now. You're already at your work. I'm just gonna wake up. That's what I'm saying. So I, I'm not, I'm no stranger to living in strange, interesting places. Like for me, I'd rather, you know, if I miss a flight, I'd rather just pull out a, you know, pull out a couple articles of clothing and, you know, lay on the airport floor and figure it out rather than kind of spend you know two hundred to four hundred dollars on a hotel room. Or right. so right. that's that's my personality, that's where I'm coming from. So whenever I ask my bosses for that raise or ask that for that performance review on that Monday and they were like they kind of brushed me off. That's when I was like, well perfect perfect solution. They have and this office is nice by the way. It was right downtown Seattle. Are you I in mean, the cubicle now as we the, speak? No, no, not in the cubicle anymore. Okay. Okay. Like, I can't wait of, to hear that, but don't tell us what happened. Yeah. Just take us through this. What kind of amenities <laughs> did you have? Like, where was the bathroom? Do you have a shower? How did you make food? Was there a kitchen nearby? What? Yeah, how were you brushing your teeth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had we had a bathroom. We had, a, you know, a kitchen that I fully stocked. I mean, this is a full, I don't know how big, probably, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 square foot office that was completely empty because of COVID. Uh, so I had this big ass space just all to myself. No shower, but there was a shower on the other campus. So I basically had to like travel to the other site if I wanted to shower. Gotcha. So that wasn't ideal, but right. I could do it. Okay, I could tell by what I'm hearing here. <laughs> this this didn't work out. No. Um, so you didn't move any of your furniture or that stuff when you lost your. It wasn't like. Wow, we walk in the building and what, there's a fully furnished house in here. What's there a bed doing? Yeah, exactly, there a bed <laughs> right in the break room, right? <laughs> dresser, right? <laughs> break room. <laughs> you didn't move your furniture in. No, no, I I don't have any furniture. For, I'm a furnished only. I moved all my furniture one time in my life, and since then, back in 2015, 2014, and I've never done it again. I'm no no. I'm I'm furnished, fully furnished apartments only. Uh, and carry stuff between places. Oh, you're one of those people. What, what, what is that called when you're like, uh, you really don't have anything? Vagabond? No. Gypsy. <laughs> Nomad. <laughs> no, there's a Nomadic. term for these people. 
Uh, uh, it's like uh, uh, I have no idea. Minimalist, I guess. Yes, but I don't it. even. I yes. wouldn't even. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, so you 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 live there, and then you start making videos and posting videos, and how did that work out? I could only really say I lived there for. So I moved my stuff on that Monday, posted the video like Tuesday night, and then by Wednesday it had 11 million views. So wow. I wouldn't say I like, got like super comfortable like, living there and had a good time, like just you know, got comfortable a couple weeks. It was really just like, I moved there, made a video, and then it was blown up in a couple of days. So it was uh, – Do we have the video? Is there a video? Phil, can you uh... – just play one of the videos. So weekend sucks your work. <laughs> you brought a lot of stuff with you, like all your food. Like you have a lot of Reese's peanut butter cups. I was impressed. Oh, we we had so much stuff. If you, there's what a couple videos, we? especially who's we. When I say we, when I say we, it's me and myself and I, baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Had a dog or a cat, or yeah, something. or a lady, or a lady, <laughs> or a partner, whatever. Uh, me and me and my TikTok live viewership, I guess. Wow. Oh. The royal we. Wow. Yes. Uh, a lot of trouble and caffeine, I'm guessing. We're working up a video. We're talking to... This is me <laughs> taking all of my belongings from multiple bags and unpacking them. What's going on here? I'm moving. Like... <laughs> is that TikTok audio under what you're saying? <laughs> Yeah, that was a – it's a very esoteric uh, reference. This is a reference – oh, what is that song? It's a labyrinth song from that big, huge show that's – from Euphoria. It's a, bi- it's a big song that's, that went viral from Euphoria. And I actually couldn't find that audio on right, TikTok. Right, so that's sorry, why I'm I just sorry, ended yes. up deciding to make it myself. It sounded like cold shower pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving from my – <laughs> we first did it, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. As something shrinks, <laughs> yeah, you're walking into that <laughs> cold pool. <laughs> all of a sudden, yeah, your stomach is sucked away to your your your, your, your backbone. <laughs> all of a sudden, all of a you can see all your ribs. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst. I'm classically tra- I'm a classically trained opera singer, as you can tell. It's, yes, uh, beautiful. <laughs> wow. And I yeah. and I tried to show off my skill right there. All right, let's hear a little bit more of this TikTok video of you moving into your cubicle the apartment into my cubicle at work they do not pay me enough to do both so as a matter of protest i am just going to live at my job and we'll see how long i can get away with this <laughs> Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh, when the pizza's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hear what you're saying, but all I can focus on is... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it, yeah, it really distracts. <laughs> this is me. It, it was, it's a perfect combo of... Yeah, it allows so, you to focus on either the music or the or the voiceover. It's like, but not both. It's a it's distracting. It's perfect recipe for a little viral thing. It was just right. a little bit of everything. In okay. There. Yeah. Well. All right, how long from the time you posted that video to the time the company comes and says, get your stuff and get out? <laughs> Not exactly that, but about three days. Three days. Three That's days. pretty long, really. Wow. So you slept there for three days. It was. I, it was, and honestly, if I hadn't posted videos, I, I could have done this until I left the company. I could have done this for months. But it was just the videos. Because there's nobody... Nobody would have seen. I mean, there was like two or three people that were even ever in the office, um, and yeah, it was just me in there. So nobody, wow. and even if, if somebody came over to my space, this. not a bad idea. You know, because it's a great, could, yeah. If you think about it, yeah, it could be. Oh. It's not something. I think because of my life experience, I, I think a lot of people wouldn't even think to do it. But if you did, I mean. There aren't really cameras in a lot of these corporate buildings inside of the office. There's usually some at the entrance, like at the security guard place, but there's none inside the actual office. Thank God. So Somebody have a car key or something, you can come and go as you please? Yep. There nice. has to be yeah, security a car cameras keys. at the uh, entrances. What was your bed? Recline your chair and put your feet up on the desk? Yeah, would you sleep on an air mattress? Or underneath the, uh, the cubicle? He made yes. a video about this, too, if you want to hear that. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> We're doing another pure video, and I wanted to record this because I wanted to show you guys before I go to sleep because there's a lot of questions. So before day four.
your conscious and your subconscious <laughs> speaking at the same time. <laughs> you groggy man. It's like your brain is trying to say, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> Can you imagine if we heard everybody's thoughts uh, under their words? Yeah, that'd that be would be, that'd whew, be complicated. I wanted to do this. So, first of all, this took a fucking long time. So I just want you to appreciate that this is sped up like eight times. Okay. A lot of people ask, are you afraid of losing your job? No. Because apparently have not read Psalms 23.4 that says, Thou shalt not be... The third question is, where do you sleep? I can't do it. (laughs) It's like interpretive dance going at the same time you're talking. Yeah. (laughs) So, let me guess. You don't have a job. The video was an art form itself. No, I don't have explicit corporate work at this moment. <laughs> explicit <laughs> corporate work. One way to put it. I have, uh, <laughs> I'll say it like that because I have a couple opportunities that generate income, but not the same way, not on a, on a regular same basis as right, that job. Right. Huh. Okay. Well, you're certainly a catch. Right, so you lost your place in your job. <laughs> Any employee would be happy to have yeah. you. <laughs> Do you have a partner? It was, re- it was very specific. It was yeah. it was very specific because they didn't fire me for living at the job. They came on and when they called me on that Thursday and they said, well, this doesn't line up with our values and you're making us look bad to our client and our employees so we want you to delete the videos or get fired. It was that. Oh. So I and I, you know, I looked at the situation. I had amassed around 125,000 followers. I had other companies reaching out to me. I had already been interviewing other places, and I was like, honestly, I'm not just gonna. I, you guys don't pay me enough already. You were kind of disrespectful with the way you came on to me. And I'm not even getting a performance review, which isn't what was promised to me. So honestly, like, do your worst. Like, I'm out, you know. Mm-hmm. And and I didn't. I ended up posting a video that was uh, they didn't love, where I posted the email, the written warning, along with what should I do to my TikTok followers. And then we uh, we dealt with the aftermath. I got an email, so I posted the video. I it's, uh, the it's like you Tuesday, and the voices and in the your head. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to tell your next say, employer when you say, when they say, why did you leave the job? Uh, I hope this works out for you because yeah. anytime a future employer Googles you, they're going to say, like, oh, okay. At the same time, I think a lot of people are going to get behind him. Like, he stuck it to the man, and I think people like that. Yeah. The people who get behind me, he stuck it to the man, they're not going to give you any money because they don't have any. That's true. They're the ones saying, They support me. They support me in some other way. They could definitely support me in some other ways, but because I've got, I've, it's been ninety nine percent positive uh, interactions yeah. with people yeah. online, cool. and I've gotten and I've had people reach out with job offers. So hmm. I'm and I'm a pretty who'd confident person. Job, I was doing who would offer you I a job? I was doing good work. Uh, who, competitors, for example, really? like really huh, nice. That is do it, man. If I see, not only did you move into the place. But you mocked the place <laughs> on social media. Be like, oh, yeah, I'm kind good. Of, can like, I just yeah, yeah. Like, like, no, what, petty just team, petty sudden, team, petty team, one hundred. You're gonna petty wake team up 100. and as not soon do as it. I, as soon as, as soon as I get the 120k, 140k offer, I'm posting it up, and I'm. It's we're just petty king the whole way to the bank, and I'm. It's gonna be a whole thing. And and it's gonna done. be bigger than the initial event. It's gonna be bigger than the initial event. I'm contacting every journalist, and we're putting it right back out there, just like. Companies can't do this, and there's other companies that respect the game enough to to see what's going on and pay mm. for good talent. Give me a series on Fox, Cubicle Man, <laughs> <laughs> Cubicle Boy. Everyone, what state are that you was in? The other question that uh, I'm in. I'm in Washington. Oh, okay. Washington state. Like, All right. It's three a.m. there. <laughs> this seems <laughs> like uh, it, that seems like a state where this would happen. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, pick a state, definitely. <laughs> um, so, how close are you to getting a job now? I'd say I'm a week away. Oh, week. great. We're, so we're near the... started can... doing interviews. Okay. Yeah. Oh, great. That's next long. How do you... Uh, where away? are you living now? I have an Airbnb, and I mean, I had... Yeah, and I have that last... How are you paying for that? Check with, 
Oh, uh, so you still I have that get last some, paycheck okay. with the PG, the pay time off pay, and then the week that I already worked. I got you. And then I sold a couple rompers. I sold a couple rompers, which is a little side business I have. Someone and then explain I have to me what a romper is. Business. That's like a onesie for adults. Uh, yeah, shorts. Oh, shorts. It's what it's I thought it was. Shorts, it, I thought yeah. this was some new shirt. slang. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to hear what this is. Now. No, nope. I have rompers. Exactly rompers are great. Yeah. yeah, you have rompers. What, you make rompers? I got a couple sewing machines, and we make rompers. A couple suppliers. That's, that what, that's well, what you really want to do. A lot of them. That's what you want to do. Yeah, you want to be a romper designer. I want to do. I want to do a lot of things. I want. Cool. I would love to. Try, I would love to work online and and not have to worry about and uh, romp. You know, <laughs> romp online, travel. Uh, I'm interested in following the story. You're great. Yeah. You know, you're. Well, you're hey, not, we're, yeah, we're like. You know, like we're all prisoners of. Like, hey, you get a mortgage, you get a whatever, you got to pay your bills, uh-huh. and we're it's so we're like prisoners. Yes, and we just we're watching someone escape. They're exactly. Like, we're oh, watching. can he do it? Right. He's heading for the and defense. from from my prison cell. <laughs> right. I'm right. like, go, man, go. Don't call do him, Simon. Go. Also, do it. Also, we're stuck. Crap. Homemade romper, homemade soundtrack. No, you're <laughs> <laughs> Everything's homemade, baby. Everything's homemade. All right, so we're rooting for you. Yeah, man. We're rooting for you. Get over that fence. You can do it. Swim through that moat. You go, can go, go, go. You can do it. Uh, and I'll come back. I'll come back and get some of you if if you're still there. Please, you know? please we'll do. Here. We'll, we'll we'll get all of you. We'll get all of you. God willing, we'll be here. Yes. So, all right. Thank you, brother. We're gonna uh, link your stuff up on our radio station good luck. websites. Good luck, brother. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. Tom Simon moved into his cubicle and. Uh, Breaking free of the chains of the man. Yes, he is. Yeah. Oh.